just a small town girl Living in a lonely world She took the midnight train going anywhere Just a city boy Born and raised in South Patrol He took the midnight train on a little morning run and I'm dying. I've never struggled this hard in a run in my life. I think it's because I'm up at some elevation. But we came to this canyon last night. It's absolutely amazing. You guys gotta check it out. Singer in a smoky room Smell of wine Cheap perfume For the smell They can share the night It goes on and on And on and on So Kaylee was up for most of the night last night. She had a stomach ache. And I was telling her, you're awake. <laughs> I was telling her that you had a stomach ache because you've been eating. Too many cookies. If you guys have been following along, we've kind of been on this like workout mission. Look at Intentions for 2019. This is Kaylee's intention. She wants to look like that with those abs. Struggle bus over here. And there's one person, I think, to blame for all this. Trent, it's all your fault. What's my fault? I woke up at 2 a.m. So nauseous, so nauseous. So we're blaming it on you for making us eat all these pastries. Oh, I thought, what? I thought, I thought I had Montezuma's revenge, so I was awake like three hours just like, oh God, is this it? Is this the moment? Just waiting for it to get worse and, and worse. you didn't allow them, so there's these people <laughs> in oh, no. Costco and they made us take these, well they didn't make us, they were trying to give us these cookies and these muffins. And I was like, no, 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 no. And Trey was like, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so now we had all these cookies and they gave everyone a stomach ache. Yeah. You guys ate a lot of those cookies. <laughs> so this is how you're making up for it? It was with giving us a latte? Mm -hmm. Is you're, there sugar in it? Probably, he probably put a muffin in it, dude. <laughs> Crumpled up one of those cookies. Thanks, Trent. <laughs> Thank you, Trent. I love you. Okay. <laughs> so because we have been driving pretty much every single day for the last like five or six days, I have not been able to do my yoga. So this morning, we finally are at a place that we're not gonna have to drive today. We're gonna be hanging out in this spot for hopefully at least another 24 hours. Damn, does it feel good. It feels so freaking good to kind of just stay put for a minute and chill and not have to drive. So let's go do some damn yoga. Some of the people were laughing. I don't think they uh, know what yoga is. <laughs> or maybe they do, but maybe they're just not used to someone doing yoga on a YMCA rooftop deck. Yeah, in the middle Bang of a resort. Bang. Yeah. <laughs> Probably a very strange sight to see. Yeah. That felt amazing. I feel like it's been a long time coming since I've been doing my yoga. And it's something that I tend to stray away from, not on purpose, but life sometimes gets in the way. And I know that's just an excuse, but it helps me so much mentally. So now you're gonna feel zinned out while we go to some hot springs? Oh, yes, baby. You guys ready to see some hot springs? You guys ready to go check out some hot springs? Let's do this. You ready to go check out some hot springs, dude? Just hiding in the shade and protecting my skin. <laughs> yeah, so but everyone's ready. Yeah, but are you ready to go check out some hot springs? Oh, yeah. Give me that fart smell all over my body. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Las Grutas Tolentogos.
because it's super dark. But it's massive. It's amazing. It's right? so scary. <laughs> the third cavern. It's like super. It's huge. We wish we could show you more. We wish the light was better. Let's go. Let's go. There's nothing like that in the United States. You would never find that. No. And that would never be legal. You would never be able to do anything like that. No. So we're all a little bit skeptical about coming here because it is a very, very big tourist attraction in this area of Mexico. It's like Six Flags for adults. But I can truly understand why they created this place into a tourist trap because it is so freaking worth it. Hell yeah. We had a great time. We're going back to the bus now. We gotta get some lunch. Our bellies are rumbling a little bit. Yes. And then we got some hot springs that are built into the side of a mountain. Wait till you guys see this. Do you know what pequeño mas means? It means thank you. No. <laughs> it means a little bit more. <laughs> Just a little bit more. Pequeño mas. No, you don't have to say it with an Asian accent. You can say it normal. <laughs> Can you must? I'm just trying to fit in. <laughs> She's trying really, really hard, guys. Can you mask? <laughs> I have something. <gasps> More papaya. Papaya. Queremos. Papaya every day. Este. Este es mi favorito. Oh man, you're a lot better than Kaylee. <laughs> I just told Kaylee to say pequeño mas and she thought it meant thank you. Gracias. <laughs> De nada. Check out what we got going on over here. We got some sauteed Brussels, sauteed in butter. We got my love over here. This day has been out. amazing. But I feel like we're finally like slowing down a little bit. I feel like this last week and a half we've just kind of been cruising, flying through, you know, northern Mexico to get to these areas. And now we're finally here. We can sit back, relax, sit in the sun, read a book, eat some papaya, eat some tacos. Soak it all in, baby. Soak it all in. That's right. And what do we got over here? Some quesadillas, because we're on vacation. Oh, oh my god. god. Vacation dias. <laughs> vacation dias. So this place is a little hot spot for locals to come and take a little vacation or take a day and go in some hot springs, adventure around, get outside. It's a beautiful spot. This is cool because this is an actual vacation destination for locals, for Mexicans. Yeah, and we expected to see a lot of tourists here, but we haven't really even seen any. So it's kind of fun doing what the locals do and going where the locals go to get away. And I don't blame them because this spot is beautiful. Amazing. Is this real life? What a place. Is this, is this real life? I think so. Tenga un buen día. Sí, señor. behind the scenes, Trenton Alley exposed. If you follow Trenton Alley on Instagram, this is how it goes down. But little do you know in the background, there's just a bunch of little kids playing, but they don't make it into the shot. All right, you ready? Okay. I think so, yeah. So luckily we came here on a Monday because apparently on the weekends, this place is swarmed. So the pools are completely empty. There's like a few people here and there. But for the most part, it kind of feels like we have this place to ourselves. It's amazing. So if you're thinking about coming here, maybe if you want to try something different than going to the beaches in Mexico, which is super popular. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you want something more in a jungle, this place. And this is like, I feel like it's best of both worlds. Like you have like the resorty feel, but it's also like very tucked away in the jungle. And like you can go zip lining and they have these cool caves. It doesn't have the resort prices either. Right. You can go zip lining here for five dollars. Five dollars. I mean, granted, it's like a 14 year old kid that's hooking you up to the thing. It's a little sketchy. Well, that about does it for the hot springs for today, but we're coming back here tomorrow. The sun wasn't that good for photos and we definitely need to take some Instagram photos, and just some photos in general. So yeah. we're coming back for sunrise tomorrow. So if you guys want to catch that, hop over to Trent and Allie's channel because hey. tomorrow's their day. <laughs> but unfortunately we put all of our clothes in a puddle. So we're freezing <laughs> and we're wet and we're gonna go back to the bus. Ooh, what do we have here? We got peanut curry, butter, chicken, oh. Oh. veggie disaster. Ooh. Oh, baby! We were gonna put this in a taco. We decided against it. That looks unbelievable. And that does it 
for tonight. Another amazing day. Maybe we should have like a counter of the number of vlogs where something doesn't go wrong. <laughs> That's two. So if you guys like that song in the beginning, that's actually a song that Jordan and I covered. It's something that we've been incorporating into our Patreon videos ever since we have been traveling up to Alaska. And we just posted a video. Uh, when this comes out, it probably came out yesterday or the day before. Yeah. So if you want to go check it out, there's a link in the description, the top line. They are all covers yeah. for now. We and we love making the music. Absolutely. And you can download the songs on there too that we record. Yeah. And there's a bunch of other stuff up there too in the description so that about does it for the day we're gonna go get some z's on we're getting up early tomorrow it's for gonna sunrise be, yes it's gonna be a very productive but fun day um and we can't wait to see you guys and we'll be seeing you bright and early for sunrise peace out